Hi guys, today we're just gonna do a very, very chill video and this is going to be the first swatch party video that I've ever filmed, at least, you know, like looking straight on and not being down on the table. So today I want to just swatch my Touch of Glam Beauty shadows because I haven't even dug into these. I will show you the shadows that I have here. So if you are unfamiliar with Touch of Glam, it is a Etsy brand. And I was originally going to make an order, so I went on their website and I started trying to figure out what it was that I wanted to get. And I was so overwhelmed because number one, their website is kind of confusing and it's really hard to like sort by what it is that you're trying to find. They have so many different formulas. So what I did is I messaged the owner and I was like, hey, if I send you $100, can you pick out some stuff for me and put it into an order and just ship it to me? Like kind of like a mystery bag or box or something like that and she was like sure I will do that for you so these are the shadows that I have I'll be completely honest I don't know how much these total to being I don't know if they ended up being more than $100 exactly $100 I have no idea but what I want to do is I want to swatch all of these I want to tell you the names of them I want to tell you what uh, formula they are so that you can get a better idea of you know what these shadows are like these two are I think highlighters so maybe we should start off with these two and also, I can't decide if I like this look or not. I did film it, it's very crazy. And I went back and forth on wanting to film another video, but then I was like, just do it, like whatever, just film another video. So if this look is crazy, I'm aware. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swatch this one first. So this is called Break of Dawn. It's one of their duochrome highlighters. Now, I'm not sure if I would be able to really use this as a highlighter myself yet. That is definitely going to be way too dark as a highlighter. It is, however, a beautiful color. I really, really like that. That is stunning. It would probably make for an amazing eyeshadow. I could see myself maybe mixing it with some kind of a lighter highlighter to make, you know, a highlighter that would work for my skin tone. It's a beautiful color though. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. <laughs> this one is so funny. It is called Pie in the Sky and it's basically like a, a pizza highlighter. It's <laughs> It looks like a pizza with pepperoni on it. This is hilarious. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that is the saddest thing ever. Like it doesn't look like a pizza anymore because now I just dug my finger into it. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. So again, I feel like this one would maybe be a little bit too dark for me as a highlighter. I don't think I necessarily would have picked out these two colors myself if I were to make the order, but having a pizza highlighter is kind of fun. So let's go into the eyeshadows now because I've heard so many good things about Touch of Glam Beauty. So let's see, this first one is called Orange Emperor and it's one of the Vivids. So I think this is just supposed to be a very metallic uh, kind of orangey shimmer. So let's go ahead and give this a swatch. Wow, that's stunning. Ooh, I love that. Oh, it feels so kind of like textured and that makes me so happy. And it also has those glitter particles in it that I absolutely love. It's almost like it's got uh, an orange base with like yellow glitters. Oh, that is stunning. I will of course show you close-ups and names of all of these after we are done swatching them. So next up we have another one of the Vivids. This one is called Forbidden Secret. And this looks to be a beautiful, very dark purple. Ooh, that is so pretty. It's so metallic and so shiny. Ooh, I have a feeling I'm going to love these shimmers. Oh, I love that. Next up, we have another one of the Vivids. This one is called Man Eater. And this one seems to be a bit of a kind of corally red. Is that a thing? With a little bit of pink to it, maybe? They are a little bit crumbly in the pan and a little bit chunky, but holy cow, that is so pretty. Oh man, do you see the shift in that? Oh, that is beautiful. I can't wait to use that on my eyes. I feel like that is the kind of color that I don't really have in my collection. Like this one has a bit of a, like an orange flip to it, even though it doesn't say it's a duochrome, but it definitely looks like there's so much dimension in it that I feel like I can see more than one color, even if it's not meant to be a duochrome. Let's move on. Next up, we have a shadow from the Spring Rain collection. This one is called Hashtag Girl Boss. It looks to be just a champagne. But let's go ahead and see this swatched out. That also has a bit of a flip to it. It's almost like it's got a little bit of a very light pink shift with that champagne. 
It's very unique. I don't think I have anything like that one either. Like these are swatching out way more differently than I thought they would just looking at them in the pan. Next up, we have one of their foiled eyeshadows. This one is called Euphoria. Again, it just looks like a bit of a kind of champagne, like a darker champagne. More like a taupey champagne, maybe I would call it. Okay, so that's just a shimmer. It's still beautiful. It's not really a color that, again, I would have picked out myself, but the formula of all of these seem really, really, really nice. I can't wait to try these on my eyes. Now, this next one I'm really excited about. You can't really see what this one is. It says it's a translucent pastel multichrome. So we're gonna give this a swatch and see what it's going to... Holy cow. That's not at all what I thought. <laughs> I have no words. How? What? How would I even explain this? It's got so many different shifts to it. It's got like yellow to blue to lilac and it's got like almost a yellow base. It's so interesting. I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this any justice at all. I will try of course to give you better swatches um, at the end of the video once I've swatched all of these out, but wow, that looks so beautiful. Next up, we have one of those shadows that I feel like everyone has kind of seen on Instagram. It's got this beautiful print to it. And this is one of the mega dimensional multi shifters. So this is also a multi-chrome. I feel like this one is going to be kind of similar to one that I have from Cleona. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a swatchy. All right, so I don't see the flip as much on that one as I do at the top one. I feel like yeah, when I'm looking at it from the side, I can see it goes from orange to purple to gold to green almost. It's beautiful, but it's so hard to show the shift on these, especially when just swatching it. I don't feel like these are going to be as intense as the stained glass ones from Cleona, but these are also cheaper. So if you have been looking for multichromes, like I don't think you would be mad at these. Like they are beautiful. Next up, we have a soft iridescent shifter this one is called so fetch so let's go ahead and see what this one looks like when i look at it it just looks like a white i'm sure it just looks like a white for you as well i'm seeing a little bit of a pink shift on my finger so let's give this one a swatch okay so this is it reminds me a little bit of one of the new highlighters from kaleidos that just has like a red shift to it like mars melter i think it's called it reminds me a little bit of that it seemed a little bit chunky it's not like super smooth and it felt a bit on the dry side but swatched out it's beautiful and this is with no base on my arm obviously i don't use anything when i swatch out my shadows so next up we have another one from the spring rain collection this one is in the shade Hawaiian Slides, Hawaiian Skies. It's so hard to read these. It says it's a shifter eyeshadow slash topper. So I'm expecting this to be kind of glittery and sheer. We'll see what it ends up looking like. So on the finger, it's got a bit of a yellow to pink or pink to yellow shift. Let's swatch this one out and see what it looks like. Ooh, so that's very, very glittery. I'm almost seeing a little bit of like blue glitters in it as well when i look up close it looks like it's a pink it's a pink base with like yellow and blue glitters in it so next up we have a shadow called unfortunate souls and that name just i don't know there's something in me that just loves that this one is another one of the multi-dimensional shadows but this one says it's a topper so looking at close it just looks like it's going to be a kind of dark silver feels very, very dry to the touch and a little bit gritty, but let's go ahead and swatch this one out. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. I feel like I already have a shade like this in my collection though. This doesn't seem as unique and different as a lot of the other. I cannot get over this one. Like this one has my heart. <sighs> that looks so stunning. Now let's swatch out these last four square pans. I don't know how these are going to be different than the other ones. I don't know if these are multichromes or what. I think these are multichromes. So this first one here is called Pandora's Box. When I look at it, it just looks kind of like a periwinkle. And this one is a multi-dimensional eyeshadow topper. I'm just going to swatch these on the back of my hand here because I don't have that much room left. 
That's really, really pretty. That's very, very glittery and sparkly. I'm going to just give this a bit of a bigger swatch. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's very metallic and very shiny. I don't know if I can see the multi-dimensional shift in it. <laughs> when I look at it like this, it's got a bit of a pink to purple shift. That's basically all I can say for that one. Let's move on to the next one. This one looks like it would be kind of similar, but more of like a blue purple. Is that what I said about the other one? I think I said, mm, yeah, they look kind of similar. This one is also one of the multi-dimensional eyeshadow toppers. It's called Happily Ever After. This one feels a lot smoother. So see what this one looks like. Yeah, so they are quite similar. I would say this one is maybe a little bit sheerer, which is why it's called a topper. But that is really, really stunning. Again, not something that I feel like I don't have in my collection, but uh, it's really, really pretty still. Now, this is probably the one that I am the most excited about because you guys know how much I love me a good turquoise and blue shimmer. So this one is called Pixie Got a Makeover. It's also one of the multi-dimensional eyeshadow toppers. So this one is also probably going to be very glittery and sparkly. Let's give this a swatch underneath, though this is the same formula as the one that I just swatched. Yeah, that's beautiful too. Ooh, that's got, it's almost like, it reminds me of Ice Algae from Cleona, which is a matte, but it has a bit of the same shift to it. It's almost like a green to a turquoise. That's beautiful. And last up, we have another one of the multi-dimensional eyeshadow toppers. This one is in the shade Love Child. I love that she picked out so many blues for me because I love me a good blue shadow. Oh, this is so similar to Watermark from JD Glow. It's got that same very, very glittery and foiled finish to it, but this one is a little bit more on the green side. Ooh, I love that. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups and try to really capture the shifts in these. And I will, like I said, have the names of everything on the screen so you can see what they look like. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from Touch of Glam and what your favorite formula from them is because they have so many different formulas that I was so lost on their website. I literally didn't even know where to start or what to look for because that is one of the things that puts me off from kind of buying from a lot of brands because if their site is very confusing, I just end up like clicking out and never, you know, going through with an order. So it was really helpful of the owner to just be able to put something together for me so that I could try a little bit of everything to see what I ended up liking. I can't wait to play with these on the eyes. Let me know what you want me to do with these. Obviously they are all shimmers, so it's hard for me to make a separate video since I don't have any mattes to kind of use them with and I'm only able to use like one or two or maybe three shades on my eyes at the same time because they are shimmers. But let me know what you want to see me do with these because I can absolutely try to pull these into a video and do something fun with them. So that's gonna be it for this swatch party video. Let me know which brand you wanna see me do this with next. I'm thinking I want to do Terra Moon because I have so many shadows and I've yet to make a video with any of them. So let me know if you want to see that. I also plan on doing Glaminatrix and really I just want to do all of my singles. So whichever brand you want to see, just leave it down below and I will, if I have anything from that brand, I will definitely make a video with them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to see some other swatch videos, which I don't have a lot of yet, but here's one more at least. If you're new, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.